Hi, now we are going to develop a character controller. As you know, we have at the moment a character in the same place making different kind of animations. For example, running and walking straight or ahead or just jumping. Um, now we are going to build a module XMScript 6 in order to aggregate the animation in mode. For example, mode walking, mode running. Uh, so we are going to create a new module name it character controller character controller .js. So the class will be character controller character controller. And the instance will be character controller. But we are not going to use any uh, instance. So we are going to use, we are only going to use class. So to start, let me see the reference. To start, we are going to, yeah, use the construct method we are going to use the mesh and modes we are going to have a mesh which is a mesh and modes modes which is modes then we are going to put a mode this mode the default one is normal normal which is walking or idle and at the end this animator that we were using uh, previously animator this one yeah we are going to send the mesh as you remember mm. we are going to have a setter of mode so we can change the mode in this way mode equal mode yeah and we are going to run we're going to have a method which is run that it will check if we have the mode if we have oh, sorry modes this mode and check we have this mode and then if we have the animation we are going to send animation so if that's if that doesn't exist so we are going to do we are not going to execute the rest of the code so now we are going to create uh, the animator this animator dot action and as you can see here we need an action id animation id time scale and cycle flag so we're going to create those variables animation animation id we are going to create a time scale time scale we're going to create a cycle flag which is going to be you will see the position zero the position one and the position two of this so here we will put this one the animation id the thumb and this one so 
now we are going to start the animation this animator start and here this animator stop that's all by now but we need to see uh, how <laughs> where it comes from so we need to go to xbox and create uh, the modes i'm going to const modes and we are going to add this one and we are going to export the modes and the modes let me see will be normal remember the default one default one another one which is run and we will have uh, the easy one okay we will have the idle which is let me see on the fill list idle is zero uh, remember the time scale is one and you have if needed cycle is false so we are going to do this one many times five please we're going to jump which is as you can see jump is the number one we're going to go to left left as you can see left walk is two this is one left walk is two right right walking right is five and idle again no idle again no. uh walking walking ahead is nine ahead uh is nine we need to do something similar with right and left when we are running but we need to change the file which is when we uh, three is to go to the left three running and running to the right is six and what else go, running ahead is eight number eight so if you are going ahead walking and then you change the mode to run you will pass through nine to eight because nine is walking and eight is running so these are the modes so now we need to do something here which is uh, instantiate the controller let uh, animator controller as new animator no character controller let me call this character controller so it's a new cha character controller we are going to pass the object which is the mesh and the modes these modes are the modes from x bot so now with the character controller we can say start and we can say cc dot run left so if everything is okay let me see we need to run the code Well, hopefully it's going to walk to the left and um, maybe after a few set timeout after three seconds we can go to the right to the 
right so three seconds going to the left and then going to the right yeah or maybe changing the mode going to the left but setting the mode let's run so it's going to walk to the left and then run to the left how cool is that so that's all by now see you in the next video stay around